What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are doing makeup brushes. This video is so long overdue and I feel like you guys have been asking me for this video for a while. So I am breaking it down today. I am sharing with you all of my favorite, current favorite makeup brushes. I have so many brushes, you guys. So I did my best to try and narrow this down and keep it as helpful for you as possible. So if you're in the market for some new brushes, you need a little refresh, I think you're going to like this one. Let's jump right in. Okay, so starting off hot. This is probably the most important brush that I will talk to you about in this entire video, and it is the BK Beauty 106 brush. The reason I say that is because I use this brush more than any brush in my collection. I don't even wanna show you my collection because it's literally embarrassing. Okay, here's all like unopened brushes. None of these brushes are even in this video. I mean, it's bad. So I just want you to get a really clear picture of what it means when I say I use this brush more than any of my other brushes. And the reason for that is because it is so multi-purpose. So you can see the shape of it. It's kind of like this dome shape. It is nice and dense, but it's not too dense. I have brushes that are a little more dense and it really depends on what product you're applying, how dense you want your brush to be. But this one is so amazing because it works for so many different products. All of my cream products, pretty much, I blend with this brush. So I put my foundation on with this brush, my bronzer or my contour, I pack on, kind of like stipple it in my skin with this brush. I can also do my cream blush with this. What else? So basically, oh, concealer. I can blend out concealer with this. It's not the best for concealer because it doesn't fit really in the under eye, but if I'm in a pinch, like this is the one brush I'm using the most. If I'm like doing my makeup really quick or I don't wanna pack a bunch of brushes, I know if I bring this one, I can pretty much do everything in terms of cream. So, oh my goodness, I cannot recommend this brush enough. She's incredible. You're gonna see a lot of BK Beauty brushes in today's video also. The next brush is the Morphe M439, and this is one of those like old school classic brushes for foundation. So you can see, again, it's that dome shape. It is a little more dense than the BK Beauty, and it's a little wider. So you can see, like this one's just a little fluffier, and this one's just a little more dense. So it kind of just depends on preference, and unfortunately, you have to like try a bunch of different things out with different products to see what you like the best for you. But I can tell you that both of these brushes are universally amazing. Personally, if you don't own either of them, I would say go with this one because you can use it for more. But this one specifically for foundation is incredible. You really can't go wrong with this brush when it comes to blending out a foundation. It blends like a dream. This. This brush is a classic. Okay, so moving into concealer. Generally, I will use a sponge for a concealer, but actually recently I have been using a brush more because I feel like the concealers I'm using are a little bit more, like they just end up looking better with a brush. This one is incredible. You can see the shape of it, and this is why it's so good. This looks a lot like the Real Techniques I think it's called like a kitten paw. What's it called? I think it's kitten paw brush that went viral on TikTok a while back. This looks very similar shape wise to it. I actually just ordered that one to try it out because I was very curious, but this one is amazing. Your concealer blends like a dream with this. And like I said, I think it's very similar to the Real Techniques one. So this is the BK Beauty X Andy Hot, Angie Hot and Flashy A506 brush. Everything will be linked below for you, so I know. A lot of these brushes, there's like a lot of numbers and names and it can be a lot, so everything will be linked for you. Um, but if you're looking for a good concealer brush, you don't like to use your fingers and you don't like a sponge, you will love this brush. Next, let's talk about bronzers, powder bronzers specifically, or like a powder contour type situation. These are two of my favorites. They're very similar. This one is the Morphe M523. I've been using this for years perfect shape to fit right underneath the cheekbone for a bronzer and then this one is the bk beauty 107 and it's really similar but it's a little bit bigger you can see it's a little bigger and this is better if you're not really trying to like contour you're kind of just doing a nice bronzer moment and you don't care like how chiseled this is this one's awesome for that also a lot of these bk beauty brushes come in a kit so i'll try and find some kits for you guys and link them below as well in case you just want to get the whole kitten and caboodle. Moving on to blush, you guessed it, we have another BK Beauty brush, but this one's actually also great for bronzer. So again, another multi-purpose brush for you. This is the Angie, an, another Angie X, or BK Beauty Angie 
hot and flashy. That's, it's a collab. It's the A507 and it's great for bronzer. Again, um, if you want to be more precise to have an angle is really nice, but I actually use this for my blush right now and it's gorge. I really just like press it on top of my cheekbones and it just creates a really beautiful diffused blush. So I love this. And again, I love that it's multi-purpose. I wanted to give you guys some options for brushes that you can get on Amazon because I know you guys love my Amazon finds. And personally, this set right here is one of my all time favorites. If you're like totally new and you have nothing and you don't even know what you're doing and you don't want to spend like, you know, $24 on one brush, which I understand is a lot. I think you're going to love the real technique one technique ones. So this comes in a set of four. I'll walk you through exactly what they are. And then you also get two sponges, I believe with this set. And I love the real technique sponge. It's a classic sponge. And I love that it's not $20 like the beauty blender. The beauty blender being $20 is such like, it stresses me out. I'm like, why are you $20 for a sponge? I do love the beauty blender. Don't get me wrong, but real techniques, great sponge and an amazing price. So you're gonna get these four. The first one is the 200. And this one is really, I don't wanna say similar to the 106, but it could be like interchanged to the 106. I actually use this one to apply my tanner on my face whenever I self tan, but it's an amazing foundation brush. You can see, again, it's that dome shape and it's pretty dense. So this, melts my foundation into my skin beautifully. I adore her. And again, because of the shape and size, you could absolutely do a similar situation as I do with the BK Beauty, where you do your cream bronzers, your cream blushes, your cream highlights, and you're just kind of stippling them into the face. So this, again, very good multi-purpose brush, and you cannot beat the price of these brushes. You're also gonna get a concealer brush in this kit. It's this little guy, it's the Deluxe Concealer Brush. Slightly different shape, again, really dense um, and like dome shape. I'm slightly different shape than this concealer brush that I showed you. Personally, I like this one more, but this one is a great option. Again, if you're just getting started, it fits really nicely in the under eye, right in that like socket right there, and this diffuses concealer beautifully. So a great option, and then, I love this one because this is the next brush you get. It's the, well, it all comes in the set, but it's the setting brush. And this is great for powder. If you're setting your under eye, like it fits perfectly or any like, you know, around the nose, any areas like that. Like I love this setting brush. It's really, really nice. And you can be precise with it, but you can also kind of spread it throughout the face. An amazing one. And then lastly, you're gonna get the blush brush. And I love this one. It's just a nice, big, fluffy blush brush. It feels nice on the skin and it's perfect for a blush application because it's just really super fluffy and that nice dome shape. I know at the beginning of this video, I said the BK Beauty brush was the most important thing I was gonna share with you today, but I may have lied. Either way, these are probably the second most important thing that I'm gonna share with you. They look gross because I use them so often. These little puffs from Amazon, if you don't set your face or like set your under eye with a loose powder of some kind, like I told you guys about the Airspun one, this is $4 on Amazon. This one's really good. It does have talc in it though. So I wanna mention that because I know people are, a lot of people are doing talc free. So keep that in mind, um, but it's $4. The one that I love is like $60, um, it's the Givenchy. And I use this with these and it is stunning perfection. Flawless under eye, bright, smooth. I am getting so much more like lines on my face as I'm getting older. And I really have the need to blur out my texture, my lines so much more and these do the trick. So. You get these in like a set of six or eight. They're so cheap and they are so good. You just stick your little fingers in here and you press and set. They're amazing. They come in, I think other colors, but I get the black and white set and oh my God, you need these. Trust me, if you're, if you're using a brush to set your under eye or a sponge or something like we used to do, this does, it does not compare to how good this makes your skin and your under eye look. Okay, I'm done selling you on that, but like, please listen to me, I'm, I'm not making it up. Okay, let's move on to eye brushes. I have just a few for you. The first um, most used eye brush that I have is this little Cutie 208 from BK Beauty. There are a lot of um, a lot of different brands that make like these tiny little ones. I just recently started using this. It is such a game changer for 
eyeliner. So this is like how I apply my eyeliner now. I just use eyeshadow and this little guy and I do my little wing and it keeps it nice and precise and nice and close to the lash line. And I just feel like it helps me do like a little wing or a little cat eye so much because it's angled and it's tiny and you can be precise and you can really like, you know, smudge it out and fix it with your finger and then go back in with your tiny little brush. This thing is amazing. It's like, seems weird because it's like this tiny little brush, but she is, she's wonderful. So absolutely get your hand on one of these if you like this type of eye look. So eyeshadow brushes I struggle with because I just feel like 90% of the people that are doing their makeup aren't makeup artists. And they, you guys are like everyday people just like me. And I feel like eyeshadow brushes can be confusing and excessive. Like you don't need a hundred. I did this eyeshadow look with like three different eyeshadows and I think one brush and I use my finger for the shimmer. If you wanna be a little more precise and you're actually doing like an eyeshadow look, you're gonna want a couple of these brushes. So the BK Beauty 202, you can tell it's a lot more pointed at the top. So you can really put this, like if you're being more precise with like a darker shade, this one's amazing because you can really like pack that in right on the outer part of the crease. Then I like the BK201, which is probably a close to interchangeable, not really, but similar to the E27, just because it's a little fluffier, but it's still a dome shape. And this one's nice just for blending out. So if you go on like a little more precise with this guy, the 202, and then you use the 201 just to kind of like diffuse the edges, this is a nice little pair, these two. Then I feel like you always need a smudging brush for the lower lash line if you're gonna do like more of like a, a look. Personally, I like barely do anything on my lower lash line anymore. I just feel like it like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not into it right now. Right now I'm just doing like nothing on the lower lash line, like barely any mascara. But if I'm doing like a look, I'm going to an event, something like that. Both of these are great. So this is the BK203 and this is the BK204. So both of these are awesome. Um, the 204 is slightly smaller than the 203. And it really just depends what you like. This one's gonna like really smudge, it's just more dense. You can also use this one to smudge that eyeliner a little bit more too. So I love like a duo of the tiny little eye um, eyeliner one and then this guy. Those are great. This one is just a little fluffier, the 203. So great for like really smoking out that lower lash line. Last one, this is the Morphe M213. I wasn't even sure I was gonna include this, but since we did the full eye, I have to. This one is so cute and perfect for inner corner highlight. Again, you could just use your finger for this. This is not like super necessary, but you can be way more precise with this tiny little guy. Just to just brighten up that inner corner, it's beautiful. And then I also like to use this on my brow bone, just to if I'm doing a little bit of a lighter shade here. This one's also great too, if you're doing a little bit of a nose highlight. It's great to just put a little powder highlight when you're applying because it's so tiny and precise so you can be precise with it. Okay, and that is it. I'm like praying to God I didn't forget any of my other favorite brushes, but I'm telling you guys, these are the ones that I'm really always using, grabbing for, and I gave you a couple interchangeable options as well. If you have any questions for me about any of these brushes, leave them in the comments below. Again, everything will be linked below for you guys, always on my LTK and my Amazon storefront. You know I have everything there for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was so fun, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.